Hello everyone. Today's video is to solve one of a burning question most developers has, especially who's working with uh, reactive programming. A lot of developers feel this question, but either they don't ask this question, either they settle with this question because this, this is not a big deal. So we have it, let's use it, kind of a thing. Okay. So uh, today I'm going to answer the question, which is why we need reactive programming while we have promises. Right? So because almost same thing most of the time we are doing with promi uh, reactive programming what we can do uh, with promises. We can achieve that with the promises. So why reactive programming is important if you have promises. Okay. So before getting into that, let me to um, add. Okay. So we have RxJS, let's enable uh, console and um, so this one, okay. Right, so we have uh, added uh, uh, RxJS to this uh, JS bin. I'm using JS bin, even you can do this uh, Visual Studio Code or something. But to make it simple, I'm using uh, uh, this one, right? First, let me do write a program to run with a promise, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Promise. Okay, so I have a function here. I use set timeout to make it uh, like uh, kind of a functional programming and wait for some take some time because then you can use a reactive programming and what I do here uh, after 500 milliseconds I'm just printing uh, Mr. John right so now I'm going to use this promise dot then So to indicate this comes with a promise, I'm going to say promise. Okay, so that's it. So I'm going to uh, run this. So it's a promise, Miss John, right? So now that's how it works. So now I'm going to implement same thing using RxJS. Const observable rx dot. I'm going to create observer. So here I'm going to use the same timeout function, but since this is a, not this is not a, a promise, I'm going to use observer dot next, right? So that's it. So then I'm going to use this function observable dot subscribe. But here I'm going to say this is coming from observer. So right, so what I'm doing here, I'm, I have a function in the promise way and I have a same function use uh, rxjs observer, right? So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to run this. Oops, I get an error. Okay, so here um, I have a spelling mistake. So let's clear this and run. So now you can see it's a both same, right? So I have a function in the native, and uh, not the native, but in just a ES6 standard in the promise way, and I have a same function with the RxJS. So this is the uh, where developers question why we need RxJS if we can do the same thing. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, right? So I'm going to see. I'm going to separate these two from the, this line. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to return few more results from this one right so i'm going to return saying tokyo nairobi and also mr berlin okay so you may familiar with these names right right 
So now I'm going to do the same thing, right? I'm going to do the same thing from here as well, right? So in the, instead of observer.next, I'm going to say resolve, right? So I'm going to say resolve, okay? So now what I did is I did the same change to both programs, okay? So we'll see what happened. So when I run this, you can see promise only return John, but observer return Mr. John, Miss Tokyo, Miss Nairobi, and Mr. Berlin, right? So it returned everything, but promise only can return one, right? So there is a first difference. Promise only return one, and only one results can return, but observer can keep returning multiple results even after return something. Okay, that's a one thing. So there's other change, other difference as well. To demonstrate that, what I'm going to do is, okay, so let me to uh, create, no, I don't have to create new one, I can use the same way. So here, we learn in uh, reactive programming and the functional programming, we can change functions, right? We can change one after the other, right? So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use a filter here, right? So I'm going to use a filter, right? So what the filter does is, it takes the result and it check result dot substring 0 to 2 is equal to miss, a mess only go into the next line, right? So last time we got all these Tokyo, Nairobi and Berlin and the June, but this time we are saying, hey, don't take everyone, take only if it is a miss, right? So let's try to run this. Oops, I got an error saying uh, filter is not a function because I have a spelling mistake. I always do spelling mistake here. I don't know what happened today. Right, so now we run this. So you can see promise return Mr. John, but observer, now this time did not return Berlin, only return Tokyo and Nairobi because why it match with this filter, right? And if you want, you can use a, a map here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the result and so I'm going to add something to uh, beginning. Okay, so now let's run this one. So now you can see promise return John and observer prof likes Miss Tokyo, prof likes Miss uh, Nairobi. What happened here in the first line, it filtered whatever is uh, starting with the MS, then it go through the map and adding something to that data and then print it, right? So at any point you can remove either one, right? So if I remove this one, so now you can see, Right, so now the, the map is adding to, affecting to all the element it's coming through. Now I hope you understand, but in a promise, you cannot do this. That is the problem, right? In order to do this, you need RxJs, you need this reactive programming. If you're familiar with Java, and if you're familiar with Java 8 streams, you know what I'm talking about here, okay? So this is a very simple example to show you what is the difference between a promise and the Rx and why we need Rx um, even though we have a promise, right? So in the next video, we are going to uh, dig into a little more deeper that uh, to into the Rxjx and eventually for the NGRx as well, right? Why I did these few videos to make sure when we go into Rxjs, you know what Rxjs and you know why it is there and you know what the different, between, different from existing functionalities. Let's study in order so you will remember all those things. So stay safe, take care as usual and make sure you subscribe to my channel and also you share this channel with others so they will also learn this. Stay safe, take care.